Hi everyone. With us starting to return to classes and with the concerns about COVID, a lot of us are bringing our own irons to classes. This way we don't have to do Lysol wiping between each one. And in order to make bringing your own little portable iron to class better, um, I've made myself this little iron tote. And it's really neat because it comes as a little carry for your iron, but you can undo the buttons on both sides and you can lay it out. And then you've got a mat that you can actually iron on. So what I'm going to do today is talk to you about how to make this. So the pattern that I used is called the Junior Caddy. And this is what the pattern looks like. And we carry it at Lori's store. So just to have that for you. And I'm just going to quickly go over some of the instructions. It's not too bad to make. So the first thing you want to do is you want to draw on your ironing fabric. So inside of the kit comes this sheet of iron of fabric. And so you're going to want to take the sheet of fabric and you're going to want to draw the lines on it as I've gotten drawn here. And there is instructions in the pattern on how to do this. And so just follow the instructions and draw the line as they say to. Then once you've got all the lines drawn on, you're going to sandwich a whole bunch of layers. So the first thing we do is we take a fat quarter and you're gonna to wanna to set lay it down with the right side down, wrong side up. And then you use two layers of the um, uh, the insole bright, thank you. Sorry, all of a sudden the name left my mind. Of uh, the insole bright, and we lay those down and iron them together, and then we put this on top. And then what you do is you put a couple of pins in the corners here, and then some pins around the outside, and then you take it to your ironing board or to your sewing machine. Boy, I can't even talk today. And when you take it to your sewing machine, I found the best needle that worked for me was the Universal 80. I tried some other ones and I was having some skip stitches, but this one worked the best without having problems on my machine. So then I went and I stitched all the layers together. So you can see how I have all the layers here. Sorry, as I have all the layers sandwiched here. And then I stitched them together on all the pencil lines that I drew. Then after I did that, I went around the edge. I'm not sure where the camera is focused. And you'll see that I have a line drawn here. I went in about an eighth of an inch from that line and I stitched down. When I read the instructions the first time, I stitched right on the line, but then I'm going to cut on the line next. So then I ended up cutting my stitching and I had to stitch again. So don't do that. Stay in about an eighth of an inch and sandwich your layers together so that it looks like this from the outside. And then on the inside, you've got all your lines drawn. So then once you get all the lines drawn, you're going to trim along the pencil line. So I trimmed along here. And then in the instructions, it tells you, because here you'll see we have a corner come out. The instructions will tell you to come in two and a half inches and cut across here to get this diagonal line. So once you cut that, cut that off, cut the corner off to give you a nice shape like this, take and go back and top stitch along here. And you do that on every corner. So then once you've got it all trimmed and you've got it all laid out, you've got a piece that looks like this. And so then that one is ready for the next step. And the next step is your binding. So I used two and a quarter inch um, strips when I cut it and I created my binding. And I'm actually going to start by sewing on my binding, I would start, would start here, and I would stitch my binding along this edge. Actually, I stitched the other way because it would be face, but whatever. And around here. In the notes, there is a little section telling you how to do binding around these angles. So you might want to read that um, before you sew on the binding. But it's easy to do. So then the next thing we do after we get the binding stitched on, your binding is going to look, oops, I got that corner folded because I was playing with it. Your binding is going to look like this when you stitch it on. And then once you've got this all stitched down, you're going to flip it over. And in the instructions, it tells you to take a three inch piece of elastic and to place it in this corner. And so in these two corners is where you want to put it. 
And then after you get the elastic on, then you're going to take, flip your binding the right way, and you can either hand stitch it down or machine stitch it down. And you're gonna go around making sure that you miter those corners and you're gonna stitch down all your binding. Then once you've got your binding stitched down, and we're gonna just pretend I have it stitched down, so I'm gonna use my finger and hold it. You're then going to take your handles, and my handle was just a piece of fabric folded in half and then folded into the center and top stitched. And the instructions are there to say, show you that. And then you're gonna just stitch here, and I would bring this up or long here, and bring it down here so that it's just touchy. And you're gonna stitch those two spots and then you're gonna flip it over. And so you'll flip it over like this and I'm going to grab my last piece here. And so you can see, you can't really see, if you look on this side, you can see I did my first layer of stitching to hold it in place. I, I did the first layer here, then I flipped it over and then I stitched right across here and that becomes my handles for my bag. And that is all that there is to making this bag. Then you sew two buttons on, on the opposite corners to where you put the elastic. So we have the two pieces of elastic and we have our two buttons. And then when you flip it over, this one's really old. I've had it for a number of years and I love it. You put your little travel iron in here. You grab your handle and bring it up. You take your two like this and do up your button. Lift up your other handle and then the two sides come in. Sorry, and do up your buttons and you've got your little carry case. So that's how easy these are to make. And I hope to see you in class and here's a way to bring your little travel iron.